Whew, I was supposed to paint today. Do some uh, painting, you know, down by the baseboards and cut in. I did some cut in yesterday. What do you think about that nice straight line up there? Look at that. Boy, that takes it out of you too. Twisting and, and holding your mouth just right and squinting and making sure that, that you're careful along the, uh, the window frame and stuff like that. I didn't get a chance to do that. I ended up doing some other things and now I'm waiting for a lady who's supposed to come out here and why is she coming out here? <laughs> you remember I told you we're gonna be replacing all these appliances because eventually I'm gonna take this countertop out of here and we're gonna put in quartz countertops and a new sink and new appliances and so I thought hey why have somebody else haul away the appliances when I could maybe sell them and I told you I was thinking about putting them on uh, Facebook Marketplace, which I have never tried before, the Facebook Marketplace. I've, I've opened up accounts on Craigslist before and sold things on Craigslist in Maui, but I've never done that here on the mainland. And so I thought, okay, let's try it. And I, remember I told you that I would let you know my progress on that. Well, look what I got in the garage. I've had, the, I've had these things in the garage for the last, oh, about a week or so. See, here's the, here's the stove, the gas stove top and the gas oven and the dishwasher. Um, that, isn't that nice? Look at that. Why throw that away or why have somebody come out and install a new one and take the old one and haul it away? What do, what do you think they're going to do with it? They're probably going to take it to the dump or recycler and just throw it off their truck and not have it be used again. I, I don't like doing that. I want to keep my carbon footprint as small as possible and one of the ways to do that is to recycle and one of the ways to recycle is to sell it to somebody else who can't maybe afford to buy a brand new one nowadays you know we just we just looked at uh dishwashers by the way and we're getting one from samsung you know how much the thing cost it was like 989 dollars or something i think i i was thinking are you kidding me I mean, yes, it's stainless steel and it's resistant to fingerprints, so I'm not quite sure how that works. It's not the real stainless steel that we're getting, but um, this one happens to be real stainless steel, I believe. And I don't, I don't know how old it is, but it's, it's in really good shape. Nothing wrong with it. Still works. The stove it had a broken, had a broken uh, uh, handle, poor thing. I, I was initially thinking if we were going to keep this for a while, I would fix it. Put some crazy glue on it put that back on there and stick it on there and if you're using this handle a lot take take the handle that you fix and put it over here on a burner that maybe you're not a back left hand burner or back right hand burner that you're not really going to use much and then take that handle stick it over on the one that you're going to use you know so anyway she's coming in about an hour she purchased these two she she did a bundle on me <laughs> I, I had I had those two things for sale the refrigerator for sale the microwave for sale and a washer and dryer for sale and she did a bundle on me because uh, she's she's gonna buy those two and the refrigerator now she knows that we need to use the refrigerator for a couple months after we move in we're gonna be moving in here in about a week or so and before the new appliances come and stuff we're, we're gonna use this counter for oh I don't know three four weeks and then when we know that the countertops are almost ready then I'm gonna rip this thing out of here okay then as soon as the countertops come in then we've got scheduled new appliances coming in okay so we need we need a few things my word we, we can't we can't have nothing here so so we're gonna leave the microwave and we're leaving the refrigerator but she's gonna take the refrigerator so she's giving me a deposit so 700 Somalis, uh, 700 bucks total she's given me for the refrigerator and the stove and the dishwasher. Initially the dishwasher was 225, the stove was 225, and the refrigerator is 395. Okay, but she offered me $700. She told me she's she's rent she's trying to redo her little kitchenette area. She's got white appliances and she really likes the stainless steel look. And so voila, that's what I'm doing. And hey, in two months, she'll be out here picking up the refrigerator. So 700 bucks I just made by putting these on 
Facebook Marketplace. I still got the uh, microwave I'm hoping to sell and the washer and dryer I'm hoping to sell and also a toilet. I've got a toilet in here and perfectly good. There's nothing wrong with it. I got that on market, market, Facebook Marketplace and this flooring that I pulled up. All this oak flooring. I'm trying to make a deal with this lady who's thinking about doing a van conversion and thinking about using this stuff to put inside the van. But I don't know. I may have to lower the price. It's tongue and groove, oak, pre-finished flooring. And so I've got that on Craigslist, or not Craigslist, but Facebook Marketplace. I decided not to do uh, uh, Craigslist this time. I, I had pretty good luck. I had 337 inquiries on a, ref on a refrigerator because it shows you how many people look at the different things. And um, I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, I, I had probably uh, maybe 15 people so far responding to, the, to just the refrigerator. And um, then I had quite a few responses for the, for, for the, uh, for the stove and the dishwasher. So, so Facebook Marketplace, does it work? Yes, try it next time you have something for sale. Oh, uh, I had just a couple more things to tell you about Facebook Marketplace, but I had to change my battery to my camp video camera, and I always bring an extra battery with me, and tonight I'll put that in the charger. So, what other things am I going to sell? Well, I took this, there used to be a ceiling fan right here, and dabbity nabbit, I should have taken a picture of it before I removed it because I had to remove the blades and now it's all in pieces and stuff and initially I thought I was going to take this the uh, this, The ceiling fan down and reinstall it, but after talking to Momi, we're thinking about um, Not in not reinstalling those ceiling fans We might take this ceiling fan and put it in one in one of the back bedrooms possibly as a thought but we got two ceiling fans and if we don't want either one of them, I mean, obviously they're, they're older, they're not uh, remote controlled. Nowadays you can buy a ceiling fan generally for under 200 bucks with the handheld remote control and whatever color you want, whatever design you want. Of course you can spend more on that, but we're gonna, sell, we're gonna sell that. And I have some track lighting right up here. I thought I was gonna reinstall it, so I didn't take a picture of it, but we've got two track lights that I'm going to put on Craigslist uh, or Facebook Marketplace. And then I, I had a light fixture here that kind of came out like an S pattern um, with uh, four halogen bulb heads on there that you could redirect whichever way. I'm, I'm putting that on there too. What else? Uh, I took all the doors off and, and I painted all the doors and stuff. That's on a, that's on a different uh, video episode. Okay, and all these doors are ready to be installed. But um, we had to wait until uh, the painting got done and the flooring got done and the carpet got done and the carpet guys just, just uh, installed the carpet. So, so after I get done painting, after I finish painting this front area, you know, cutting in the ceilings and the baseboards and painting the baseboards, painting these door frames and all that kind of stuff, then it's gonna be time to reinstall these doors. And of course, we're not going to be installing, reinstalling the hardware or, or the, um, the hinges because Momi wants a different color. She wants nickel hinges. She always likes nickel hinges. And see, here, here's the door that goes out into the garage. This is, this is what was on there before. They're nice handles from Schlag. They're paddle handles and um, uh, the, the gold hinges. Now, all the ones on the interior were three and a half inch hinges, okay? And uh, this door happens to have four inch hinges and uh, I'm going to sell those too. And those are self-closing hinges, the top and bottom one. Here's a deadbolt here that I'm going to, I'm going to sell to you. And this one, this one happens to have a keyed, a keyed entry. And then we've got, we've got several um, paddle handles that are privacy handles for bathrooms and bedrooms. And then some passage handles. I'm going to put all that stuff in Facebook marketplace. I'm just going to take a picture of it and, um, Post it, and then and then we had a couple. Uh, what else did we have? We had a couple blinds, mini blinds, the louvered uh, accordion type blinds that kind of went up. Uh, uh, pleated pleated blinds, 
And so I'm going to put that on Facebook Marketplace. I should, and like I said, I should have taken a picture of all that stuff before I took everything down. On one of the blinds, I did that. Okay, the toilet, um, uh, that's, gonna, that's, that's on there right now. And, and the light fixtures. I sh and again, I thought, I thought the light fixtures were going to be reinstalled, but they're not. I should have checked with Mommy first. Damn it, damn it. You know, so I'm putting those on there. Hey, five bucks, uh, a light fixture in the bathroom, why not? And, and along with all the other stuff, here's another bathroom. Yes, I took that light fixture down, so that's going on there. Because I don't think she wants that anymore. It, and even some, some actual lights. I don't know if she likes the light that's on this one. We might take one of the ceiling fans and install a ceiling fan there. Um, but, then there's, but then there's no light. And the ceiling fan doesn't have a light kit. So, um, I don't know what we're going to do with that. We may put a ceiling fan. And then we might get rid of the light fixture. And the ceiling fan could have a light kit on it if she wants. Or you just have you just have the two lights by the bed, which is which is which is controlled by a light switch here, and and it dims, that which was kind of cool. And then one of the, one of those is the power. So I don't know which is which. Okay, this one could be this one could be the light fixture, and so if we put a ceiling fan in, we may have to change that uh, to just a regular paddle paddle handle over here. And then um, most ceiling fans, like I say, will have a, uh, a remote hand control, handheld control unit that you can turn it on, off, medium, uh, slow, medium, high, on, off, uh, reverse, and if you have a light kit on it. So, see, lots of options. So I'll have to check with her. I'll have to check with her on that. And then we have some wall sconces. And we're, we're going to have to reinstall some wall sconces. There's one there. There's one there. We got two here. But she doesn't necessarily like the, like the color of the wall sconces. I'm not sure where, where, I, where I hid those. They're, they're somewhere. But, um, you know, they're 15 years old. And now because we've changed the colors of everything, um, I think she's going to pick out some new wall sconces so that's fine we'll put those out there on Facebook and the washer and dryer Facebook marketplace you know all this all this stuff so when you're remodeling and and what I should have done was when I took the carpet out I could have put that on Facebook marketplace too but initially I wasn't even thinking about that and so when I took the carpet out I cut it in strips because I was gonna in like six foot wide strips because I was gonna uh, initially put it in the dumpster, the on-site dumpster here in the condo complex. And so I cut, I cut the carpet up, I cut the carpet pad up, and what I could have done, and I, I was luckily, luckily enough, I was smart enough to remember to save some of that carpet, and I put, I put some of the carpet remnants up in here, so that way um, I, can, I can cut them for, for uh, floor mats. You know, out, out in the garage or out on the deck or something like that. And then when they get dirty, just, hey, no problem. Cut another one. I've got plenty. And then I also, when the carpet guys were gone, you know, before they left, I made sure um, to pick up all the remnants. I says anything wider than, you know, close to two feet wide and above, of course, I want to save it because, because I, can, I can use those for floor mats. I, I could cut one and stick it right here if I want. And then they had a big enough piece, so when we have a couch here, I might have it like a, a floor rug. You know, cut it, and, and it would look nice there. Let's, let's just show you. And see, I could put one there by the front door if I want, or out, out by the front door. Now, now see, here, here's a big, huge piece that they got left. Look, look how big it is. And look how long it is. And, and they notched it out. So I've got plenty there for floor mats. Here, here's, here's the other pieces I saved. Boom, 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 boom. Here's some more. You know, I'm not throwing that away. And here's the old carpet. Some, some of this old carpet um, I'm going to end up uh, chucking out in the dumpster. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, there's only so much carpet you need, right? And, uh, but it's perfectly good that you could cut in two foot wide, 
pieces by three foot long, three and a half feet long, throw it out in a floor mat. You, you, put, you put one right here as you're going in the garage. If you got stairs, we have some, some concrete steps um, in the house that we're at right now. I could save some of that and I could take it over there and put it on the concrete steps. I've got carpet there that I had uh, over at that place and it's all dirty now. I've cleaned it a couple times with simple green and a brush and I'm like, this is taking me forever. I don't have to do that anymore. All I have to do is cut me uh, another, uh, you know, couple steps with the carpet pad that I, with the carpet that I have. That carpet's in perfectly good shape. You know, the old stuff, look, it's nice. There's nothing wrong with that. And so I'm going to, I'm going to do that and say, I've got right now, I had, I had one by the front door. I moved, I moved it. See, that's just the old carpet. I had that by the front door. I moved it because the furniture guys were here earlier. And look, here's one right here. I just put it out by the door. You know, for now, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna move that one. But see, I could I could leave that, couldn't I? Is that a nice little floor mat you could you could have up by your front if you want. You know, what's wrong with that? Just leave it there. People can wipe their feet on that. Before they come in the house now on the new flooring uh, if their feet are wet they can dry their feet off whatever and when that gets all dirty and decrepit looking after six months from now or a year from now grab myself another one I got plenty now okay so Facebook marketplace think about that whenever you get ready to get rid of something you want to sell something we got we got a mommy's got an office chair it was probably 250 bucks. Well, she didn't really like it. It's not, it's supposed to be er, er, ergo, what do you call it? Um, er, ergonomical, <laughs> I forget the word now. But um, it's, it's supposed to be proper for your posture and everything. Well, she doesn't really like it and we've got it, we've got it stored downstairs and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm taking a picture of that and I'm putting it on face, Facebook Marketplace for like 100 bucks. 95 bucks. It'll it'll sell. It's almost brand new. She's hardly used the thing. And so you got certain things around your house that you really don't want, don't need. Try Facebook Marketplace and see how it goes. All right. That's it from now. Got to go.